Hello, ladies and gents. I'm looking at my computer screen here. This meet that happened over July 3rd. Just trying to bring you some track and team news. I know y'all probably seen it on YouTube already, but I'm just giving my two cents. This World Championships is going to be something else for the men's. The 200, not just 100, no, the 200. Um, there was a guy from Cuba. Let me see if I find this results. Um, let's see if this is it right here. I can't tell what country this was in. This is written in another language. But anyway, this guy, Rainier Mena from Cuba, ran 19.63. Right, then followed by ZZ Meba, or uh, Michael ZZ Meba from France, 19.97. Those are the top two times that I'm going through. But the 1963, everybody's looking at Arian Knight and Noah Lyles, um, um, Curly, and so forth. They're, them guys are already under the 22nd mark. But no, look out for this guy from Cuba, and he, he might even improve even more. You know, we're looking at the women from my home country. Um, this thing around my neck. Around um, the women with the 200 with uh, Sharika Jackson and Elaine Thompson Hero. You know, and no Abby Steiner to come out there and challenge. And you know, we have plenty of other women women that might actually step up because some women that are running 22 twos now could end up running 22 21s or 6 2. Maybe even run faster, get down to 21 fives themselves too and challenge. Sharika Jackson, who's the world leader right now. But 1963, this guy, if he stays consistent, because sometimes, you know, these guys, they'll run these meets, perfect conditions, everything, and they get that fast time. But they can't duplicate it. That's the problem I have. Yeah, happy for the man that he runs that, like that. But I think his previous best, I think, was only like, 20, 20 seconds uh, flat, fully automatic. But it's going to be interesting. And of course, you know, we, we got um, Femke Ball stepping up her game. I think she's going to run um, under 52 by the World Championships to challenge Sydney McLaughlin. You know, so it's going to be interesting. And now uh, let me see what are the other results. I think that was the only top one. There was the, that one meet in Atlanta where, um, what's his name, uh, from South Africa, ran, he's back in, in shape. Jeez, oh, I forgot his name. He hadn't been in the scene for a minute, so I, I forgot his name. Shoot, let me see if I can look it up. I'm looking at my computer screen here. Um, Atlanta, let's see if this result is posted. The world record holder from South Africa. He's back in form, it looked like. Run an impressive 400 meter at the Marietta meet in Atlanta. Let me see. Okay, looks like the results are posted. 400, 400. Where is it? Where is it? Men's 400 meter. Wade Van New Newkirk. 44, 58. So, you know. Look out, people, he's coming for the challenge. He's coming back in shape. The other two guys, Rasheed McDonald's um, from Jamaica and Demish Gay, they mid-45, so they, they still have to step up their game. And uh, let me see what are the results we have. The 100 meters, of course, you know it's going to be hot. Jiman, Jiman K from Team China for the women here run 11.11 in the 100 at that meet in Marietta. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of talk about that guy from from Cuba. You know, that, that was 1963, so another person down in the in the mid-19s. It's something going it's gonna be exciting to see this world championships in the next two weeks. Many of the athletes should be already coming over now to train here in the United States before the World Championship to get acclimatized to the track and the, the environment. 
but if everything holds up, I think there's a possible world record for the 100. Um, Shelly and Fraser seems to be the favorite, but if Shirika keep improving, could be a spoiler. Uh, Abby Steiner, if she keeps improving, she's going to be in the top three. And I think she has a chance for the gold medal. But it's all going to depend on consistency and if they can manage the rounds and who can manage the rounds and improve upon each round and be smart in how they qualify and not fast start and not get injured while they're getting closer to the, the world championship. But anyway, that's just my little quick take I wanted to put out there. You know, I'm just gearing up and I'm um, looking forward to monitoring this, this world championship to see if some of the predictions that everybody have out there about world records is going to pan out. So stay tuned. If I see anything new or anything exciting to talk about, I'll bring it to y'all attention. All right, so that's it.